What up, y'all? It's been, I hate I say it at the beginning of the video. Um, a lot has happened since I last made a video. Today we're gonna be talking about how I knew I was trans because I still wanna keep this channel on a mainly trans related topic, but I still like to make videos of random stuff. Merry Christmas, it's Christmas right now, okay? Um, I'm blinded by my ring light, but I hope it's good lighting. I, I'm also using a new camera. It's my new phone, I got an iPhone 12. Decided to finally upgrade so that hopefully my videos look a little better. Eventually, maybe I'll use a real camera like I should, but anyways. Also, I crashed my car and totaled it. It wasn't really a crash, I just curbed it really bad. I like hydroplane and I was like, BOOM! It wasn't good. So yeah, that's why I haven't been making videos recently because I've been carless. But now I just bought a new car, which I'll probably make a new video about another time. It's nothing special, so anyways, that's the intro. Let's get into it. If you don't already know me, my name is Mason. Um, I am 22. I didn't really go over how I was going to make this video. My name is Mason. I'm 22 years old, and I am a trans man. So I was biologically born female, and I have since transition like a transformer a lot of people ask hey how did you know or people may be having similar feelings they are confused you know it doesn't matter how old you are some people come to terms how late like Caitlyn Jenner and some people are like two years old like that I am jazz girl so you know what I mean everyone is different so I just want you to know obviously everyone's process and story and journey is gonna be different but this is just mine so started probably when I was about, as long as I can remember, honestly, but I was uh, an only child for the first six years of my life, so I didn't really have many siblings or any, or really much to compare myself to. I mean, yeah, I went to school, but at that age, you know, girls and boys, you're all the same. Like, yeah, I was always a tomboy, but no one thought much of it. I liked cars, but um, it's important to know that I wasn't just in it boy stuff, like I like girl stuff too, girl stuff. Like I like babies and dolls. Not dolls, like, I didn't like Barbies or that. Like, I fuck those hoes up, bro. I like playing kitchen and house and stuff like that. But um, I think it was my earliest memory of like, being like, okay, something maybe is a little up. It was when I was like, maybe three or something. I remember trying to pee standing up, like I just wanted to be able to do that. To be fair, it seemed pretty convenient and easier than having to pull down your pants all the way and sit down anyways. But yeah, so I remember trying to do that. I can't blow my nose, girl. The next thing I noticed was um, I really wanted to be Fred from Scooby-Doo because I was also really jealous about him and Daphne, bro. I thought Daphne was like... And um, I just thought like, hey, I'm never going to get a girl like that unless I'm some strong big man like that. Obviously at this age, uh, that, obviously that's very not true. <laughs> but at that age, I thought that's what women wanted. And I was like, okay, I need to be a boy. That was kind of the first time when I realized, okay, I don't like being this chick, you know, this bitch got to go. <laughs> and I was about like four. Um, you know, fast forward my whole childhood, like I, I'm not very outspoken when it comes to feeling weird emotions, you know? So I kind of kept it in and I hid it. I, um, I remember my parents' wedding, when they got married, I was six years old and I had to wear a dress and I fucking, I cried and cried and cried and cried the whole wedding. They're so annoyed until they let me change it to my tracksuit. Cause that was like kind of the first thing for them where they're like, damn bro, like, it's just a dress. But I was annoyed because my cousin was wearing his little suit and he was doing cartwheels and backflips and stuff and I couldn't do nothing cause I had a dress on like, I was pretty pissed off very pissed off <laughs> yeah just growing up I, there was just signs man and then the the time when i really realized like hey i'm trans like this is what i am is i was in eighth grade okay and where i lived eighth grade is high school so you just go grade eight to grade 12 so you're sitting there with 13 year olds with no titties to these people with balloons on their chest and full beard and big booties it's really weird and i was very uncomfortable in that school also to be fair where i lived um, it was about 90% Asian actually where I lived in this place called Richmond and um, There's nothing wrong 
There's nothing wrong with being Asian, obviously. I'm just, the school I was in was 90% Asian. And I want, like, I'm just hearing Chinese in the hallways all day. Everyone's looking at me like, who is this weird black person? Like, I'm just the random odd one now that's sagging my pants, but I'm a chick and everyone's just like, stay away from that thing. So it was odd. So um, I had this website called Ask FM where people can anonymously basically just bully you and tear into you. I don't know why I even had the website, but um, someone had been like, are you trans? Like blah, blah, blah. Like, or you're a fag, like all this weird shit, which, you know, I didn't really care. Uh, I didn't have any friends back then. I was really depressed, obviously, like most trans people when they're trying to figure this shit out. Um, so I spent all my time on YouTube. And on YouTube, I came across uh, someone who I, to this day, I, like, I even talk to them sometimes online. Like, they have been my inspiration for, like, almost 10 years now. And he was pre-testosterone, so he was just like me, but had already kind of went through the physical changes that he could do without physically changing much. Like, a haircut, you know, clothes, change his name. So, and he was in high school living as a trans man. And I didn't know what trans was. And I was like, wow, like this person was just like, hey, like I want to be a guy, so I'm going to be a guy. You know, and I was like, I could do that. Like, cool. So that was when I first figured out what it was. Um, and since then, I knew that that was it. Um, my parents kind of started seeing the signs of depression a bit. And I had gone to a doctor and talked to a doctor. And obviously, <laughs> She had even brought up, you know, uh, gender identity disorder. And this was back in 2012, okay? So back then there was not much about it, you know? So it wasn't nearly as big as it is now. Everyone knows what trans is now. Back then, not a lot of people knew, especially where I was living. So my parents were just like, oh, hell no. Like, they were like, dude, you can dress how you want, but you're not changing genders. That's not how God made you, blah, blah, blah. Now God isn't even brought up in the question anytime and like my parents are super, super supportive as you can tell by my top surgery vlog, they're amazing. So don't worry, don't be throwing no shade. But um, that's basically how I realized I was trans. It's, there's, there's really nothing. I just was like, hey, I don't like being a chick. This feels really weird. Um, you know, the term lesbian didn't really sit with me. And you know, at the, to this day, I still don't have any regrets. I definitely feel more comfortable with my body. I miss my hair, I used to have way much more hair, but you know, there's pros and cons, that's all right. But that's my story, so really, that's how I figured it out, is just really through YouTube and just living life and experiencing and being like, hey, I don't wanna be like this. <laughs> I didn't even get to start my transition fully until I was 17. I had to go through uh, a lot of therapy and get the diagnosis on gender identity disorder. Then I was able to start testosterone if you guys would like a video on how I actually got through the process of taking testosterone and being uh, getting my top surgery, I'll make that in a separate video. But I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little backstory about me so you kind of knew, you know, my situation. But yeah, so like I said, I started T at 17 and then top surgery at 20 or 21, I think. But that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope everyone's doing awesome. Has a great holiday. Drop some comments or some suggestions. I honestly didn't even know what to record. I just wanted to test out the quality of the ring light and my phone. So yeah, I'm gonna be making more videos hopefully this week. If I come up with something. All right, peace out.